Yeah, I expected something would have to happen because obviously everything was going wrong for just all over the world. Um, the virus was just taking pace. So when it was announced there was going to be a change of schedule, we didn't know what initially. It was something that almost was expected by then, I guess. Um, and it gave me a chance to sort of take my foot off the gas in terms of the preparations I was in the very middle of um, at that point last March. Um, and then as we started to get closer to events coming back for me, my only my first event to travel abroad to was in in June this year. So there was a long time to build up, but I made good use of uh, online racing. I made the Great Britain team for the online um, eSports World Championships in December. So almost like a third sport added, I guess you could say. Um, but I just really um, utilised uh, the time as well as I could uh, and, and made sure that I was as prepared as I could be for whatever eventuality it was going to be. And, um, you know, the last few months since things have been a little bit no more normal in terms of competition, and there hasn't been as many competitions as I would have liked in normal situation, but I think I've used my time really wisely. Told I am the most decorated, but I'm not the most successful. So um, I have more medals than any other British athlete, but I haven't quite reached the, the 16 gold medals of Mike Kenny. And I'm on 14, you know, as a householder on 17, let's not forget Barney's three gold medals when he was piloting uh, the tandem. And we've won gold on the same day before. And um, so this will be a very different game for me not having him out there. Um, but to, to, to reach that target, it's almost a target I didn't realise I needed. Um, but it's so close now and it's really, really exciting to think that this opportunity gives me that chance um, to take it. The biggest motivating factor is really to be the best version of me, to be to be able to produce my very best performances, um, but to be able to come out of it with some additional successes, as you could say, is obviously hugely motivating in one sense, but it's certainly not the only thing that you focus on. And I'm very process driven, very analytical and and try and make sure that there's there's never a stone unturned in making sure that I've been meticulous with um, all elements of my preparations and, and everything that you do on a race day is about the preparation that you've done before. So I know that I'll have um, worked harder and done absolutely everything to the nth degree and rehearsed and rehearsed um, to make sure that I produce the very best performance that I can. So hopefully the outcome then can take care of itself. I think I've always been a real competitive person. Um, I've always really enjoyed challenging myself to do better, um, not just in sport, but in other things as well. And um, I've always just really enjoyed that opportunity to prove to myself that the work I've been putting in is, is going to pay off. And, you know, performance is a big, huge jigsaw puzzle from my perspective. Each piece of that jigsaw puzzle slots together over time. Um, and the final piece of the jigsaw puzzle um, is hopefully there on race day. And if it isn't, then you save that piece and put it back in that picture another time. So for, for me, it's um, it's always been that big jigsaw puzzle. And my parents taught me always to focus on my own performances, um, always to make sure I was beating my own personal best times. And then that makes you more competitive because you've kind of almost taken the pressure off a little bit, but you're very much um, able to sort of take a step back and make good decisions under pressure.